Finding someone you share a special connection with can be challenging in today's digital age. And then once you do find somebody, eventually you're gonna have to meet their family. Now imagine that that special someone's family is all the way across the ocean, a world away in Singapore. That's where this story begins. So, does Crazy Rich Asians deliver on the humor and heart shown in the trailers? Or is this one long commercial for international travel? Let's talk about it in this review. This film is based on a book that I have not read, so don't worry about any comparisons in this review. The story revolves around the lives of one couple, Rachel, played by Rachel Chu, and Nick, played by Henry Golden. They're a young couple who are absolutely head over the heels in love with each other, but as we discover as the story progresses, they don't really know each other that well. One of the reasons is because Rachel's mother has actually been keeping a very important secret from her throughout almost the entire movie. And it's at the very end that this big surprise reveal happens, and it did work, it surprised me. Another reason is because Nick is selfishly hiding who he is and what his life is like. Because of his family's incredible wealth, he's actually used to being treated a certain way and having a lot of attention. And he doesn't get that from Rachel at all. And so he kind of hides it because he enjoys the fact that this girl doesn't really know who he is or what his background is, and just loves him for who he is. So his reasons, they're understandable, but still selfish. And I'm happy to report that this film does a really great job telling the story of their blossoming love for each other. One delightful aspect about this movie is how it actually feels like a musical without singing. It was the pacing of the scenes and the dialogue that felt very similar to what we would see on a live Broadway stage with the dialogue and the blocking. For example, the scene where the women go off on their bachelorette day and they rush the store to do all of the shopping, I swear to you, I thought they were going to break out into song about how they love weddings and they love the idea of getting married and they love being rich. Another example is the opening scene where the woman sees Nick at the restaurant or the coffee shop with Rachel and everyone's trying to figure out who this Rachel girl is and they bring in all different kinds of scenes to kind of highlight like how they're doing a search, how everybody knows who Nick is, nobody knows who Rachel is. I swear to you again, I thought they're gonna break out into song about who is this chick that this guy's with. Continuing with the theme that this felt similar to a stage production, we had the vibrancy of the outfits, the colors, how everything just pops on screen and the energy in this film is electric. And I loved the jazzy score that just accompanies this film scene to scene. It's just a wonderful little undercurrent of energy that just helps keep every scene moving from moment to moment without really losing any momentum whatsoever. This really helped too on those scenes where things kind of slow down a little bit just to emphasize a very emotionally significant or important moment in the story for these characters that kind of adjust the tone of the film just slightly before moving back into that familiar kind of up-tempo, electric, jazzy feel that this had from start to finish. In short, this movie was constructed and executed incredibly well. Now let's look at the characters in this story. Everyone in this film plays a particular personality that plays off of the others brilliantly. The different marriages for all of his cousins were exactly that. They were all different. And that helps show us, the audience, how this lifestyle of being super rich impacts the family. Heading up the family, we have the mother and the grandmother who are headstrong traditionalists. Family is everything to these two ladies, and creating your family dynasty is paramount. So anyone or anything that comes into the family has to see fit that they do exactly as these two women feel they should do. So outside of the stoic demeanor that these two women have, we have all of the cousins and the friends who bring something completely different, but it's always lighthearted, it's always fun and humorous to the story. Outside of a couple quick beats that happen in the film that are a little bit more serious and dramatic, uh, because of relationship tensions that are occurring, this film had me smiling and laughing from beginning to end. And all of the actors did such an incredible job being charming and energetic throughout this entire film, I couldn't help but feel just completely absorbed into their world. Crazy Rich Asians is playing at your local movie theater right now, and I am definitely recommending a big screen viewing of this film. It's a great romantic comedy, and the way the story progresses with all of the characters and their personalities just A plus across the boards. I really enjoyed my time in the theater with this story. And there are some absolutely beautiful moments that happen on screen between some of the characters. If your jaw doesn't drop to the floor during the wedding scene, when the camera pans back once the floor is flooded and you get to see the marriage ceremony going on and how beautiful everything looks, 
I'm gonna recommend you set up an eye exam because clearly there's some vision problems because that was jaw-droppingly gorgeous, absolutely stunning. And because of the humor, the heart, the incredibly well-acted characters, and some wonderfully written scenes with dialogue that will definitely make you think, Crazy Rich Asians isn't getting one or two high fives. It is getting all the high fives from this guy. Crazy Rich Asians is playing at your local movie theater right now. Go see this film.